Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Oh my god, hi. Yeah, it's me, Greg. Long time no see. Alright, so I guess congratulations are in order. But in all seriousness, holy crap, you are all so impressive. You made it through one of the most challenging years of all time with your heads held high. And never forget that you didn't sign up for any of this, but you sure as hell stood up for it. And damn, when you get out into the world, you know you can do something great for it. That you need to do something great for it. And you're going to. Because if you got through all of this, you can get through anything. What's up class of 2020? Congratulations to all of you. Uh, Y'all did it. It graduated. I also want to say I'm so proud of all of you for uh, enduring the past few months. I know it hasn't really been the greatest and it took away a lot of your end of the year events, but it's okay. Honestly, life goes up from here. You just jump one of the biggest hurdles in life, which is graduating college and you should be proud of that. Uh, and also you need to celebrate that because that is a really big achievement especially for us people of color. So I'm always going to be a resource for all of you uh, if you ever need help with post-grad or figuring out stuff. Once again, I just want to say congrats to Class of 2020. Peace out. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see y'all soon. Hey everyone, congratulations on graduating. Yeah, woo, woo, yeah, woo. <laughs> Getting here is such a huge accomplishment. It doesn't even matter how long it took you to get here because you're here and that's all that matters. One thing that I learned being in the adult world that maybe you could take in as you go into the adult world. Yeah, I pay taxes, it's crazy. The future really is what you make of it. Especially in these trying times, I know it's hard to believe, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but the catch is we have to constantly step towards that light every day. And that's the hard part, that light being the future you want for yourself and potentially your future generations to live in. If people tell you, oh, you don't have this high paying job when you're 25, or they're like, oh, you're not in this income bracket, you will screw them. It's your life. You do what makes you happy. And that's so much more important than what other people think. They don't, they don't know you, you know, you know you keep working towards the future you want. I miss y'all and I hope I see you maybe next year, hopefully. Congratulations again. Spion says, congratulations too. Goodbye. Congratulations, how? Congratulations and graduate. I know this quarter was weird. This whole year might have been really tiring, but I want you to know I'm proud of you. That you worked hard, you maintained relationships, created new ones in order to make your life better, in order to make another person's life better. And that is really what Bayanihan is all about. It's about community on top of culture, politics, education. We're all there to stand up for what we all believe in, together. Not as individuals, but together. And with that, the lessons we learn vary, but it's all the same in the core of it all. Be kind, stand up for others, make time for yourself. It's weird, but in the real world, there's still aspects of this community. So keep that to heart and never lose hope or sight of yourselves. With the fondest of memories, I'd like to say congratulations and I wish you all a best of luck. Hi everyone! Whether we've talked once or a lot of times or we haven't even met yet or maybe we won't even meet, <laughs> that's okay because it's your graduation and I know that there's a lot of things going on in the world right now but don't forget that you're important and your contributions to this world are important, your voice is important and it doesn't erase all the hard work that you put in to get to this day. So I just wanted to say congratulations. And if you ever need support, I'm here for you. You have a whole community behind you. Don't forget that. So congratulations. Have a good one. And let's celebrate. Woohoo. Woohoo. Hi, everybody. I want to congratulate you on graduating 2020. I know it's been a fun year for you guys. I hope you met a lot of new people, did a lot of cool things before this epidemic 
just shut the world down but otherwise i'm glad that you guys finished strong and are ready for the real world i still remember a lot of your guys' first days i can't believe that four years later here you are now graduating and virtually walking through the podium and getting your diploma i still miss you guys a lot so congratulations again and i hope to see you soon literally as the world is freaking ending you still have the capacity to get a diploma and get together, take classes and serve your communities. Like what the heck? It's wild. Like that's why I don't want any of you to be stressed or overwhelmed over something like a dream career or a job because in reality of it, nothing's more important than your family, friends, and your health. Don't be ashamed if you don't know what to do with your life yet. Choose what you want to do with your own free will. Don't be ashamed if you have to stay at home for a year or two because your family hasn't seen you for four freaking years. Come on, like might as well make the most of it before your next big move. The real world is very scary, but it'll open your eyes to the good and the bad that Twitter hasn't made threads on just yet. You went through four years of college, don't forget what you learned. Out of the hundreds of things that went on this past four years and thousands of things that went on this year, you'll be fine. I love you all. Please stay safe and feel free to keep in touch or send the message out of nowhere. I like surprises. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello everyone, congratulations, good job in making it past these couple years of hell. It takes a lot of effort to get where you're at right now. Something that's kind of kept me going past that point where you no longer have a scheduled thing to go to for the next couple of years. No matter what it is that you want to do, just start somewhere. I think a lot of people are obsessed with trying to find the best route, setting yourself up for the best success, setting yourself up for the most optimal route to get to your goals, that some people just get caught up in all of that and don't know what to do. They're overwhelmed. In anything really, it doesn't have to be right away going into your career, even if it's something just like cleaning up your house, building some kind of relationship you have with someone that you fell off with somehow. The fact that you want to start doing that thing again, that should be your motivation. You don't have to find the most optimal route. So with anything that you're doing, I would say just start it. You'll figure out all that stuff along the way. It's really scary now to enter into a place where you don't know what's going to be next. There's no more four year of education unless you're going for that, which is I want to do that. <laughs> just start. You know, the, whatever steps it takes, you'll find out. It'll all fall into place later. And with that, I want to say congratulations again. You've all accomplished so much. Like, I know that I got through school too. And I'm right here with you at the same kind of step in life. Just so proud that I have met a lot of you. And that you're all going to be going. I know that you're all going to be going into something great later on. So, I love you. Bye-bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. You made it. I am very, very proud of everything you've accomplished these past four years. And whether or not you served in leadership or you were just an active community member under Bayani Han, the work you did did not go unnoticed. We all see you and we all appreciate you. And I am just, wow. I'm just so proud because it's not easy work. Now you're entering the real world. Oh my gosh. It's scary, it's, it's scary, but be patient with yourself. Take your time, enjoy every moment because it's not a race, life isn't a race. We're all on our own journeys, all on our own paths and we're gonna get to where we need to be. So don't even worry, don't even sweat. Just live your life, live, laugh, love. I'm always a call or text away if you need advice or if you just want to talk, hang out. But please do not message me on Facebook Messenger because the second I graduated, I deleted that. So just message me on IG or Twitter, whatever, anything but Facebook Messenger. Congrats, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Potty it up. And woohoo, we did it. Yeah. I just wanted to say that I'm very proud of y'all <laughs> and y'all truly deserve this moment because there was a lot happening this year. It's very unfortunate that y'all won't get to spend this important time with your friends and family. I hope y'all know that people truly care about y'all and this moment of your life. So I hope y'all cheer up <laughs> and make sure y'all feel special. <laughs>
<laughs> during this time and your graduation. I'm truly grateful to have met some of y'all and even worked with some of y'all. I wish for y'all and your family to stay safe and healthy during this time. <laughs> See y'all! <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020. Y'all did it. Um, you're graduating soon. Even though there's a lot happening, um, it makes it seem like there's nothing to look forward to right after you graduate, but that's okay. Each and every single one of you are destined to do something amazing. It might not happen tomorrow, might not happen next week, might not happen in a month or two, or it might not happen in a year. And that's perfectly fine. But I do know that each and every single one of you will do something amazing throughout your lives. And for some of you, it may have taken four years, maybe some of you a little more or a little less. Regardless, we are very proud of you for graduating. You made it. That's a big thing. Even just getting into college is a big thing because there's not a lot of minorities that actually go to secondary education. And just the fact that y'all got there and you graduated, that's amazing. And that's something to be proud of, regardless of how long or how rough it was to get there. We are very, very proud of you and we hope for the best in your future endeavors. We hope that everything for you goes great and even though we are graduated, we are just a message away, just a call away. A lot of you have our numbers, some of you just have us on Facebook. Regardless, you can reach us anywhere. If you ever need help or advice, we are here for you. But wait, there's more. If y'all ever need like someone to look at your resumes, give you, trip, give you, trips, give you tips on like how to form my resume, um, whether or not you're nervous in interviews, just hit me up. Yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, bye. Congratulations, Bainihan class of 2020. My name is Ray Nobles Decades, class of 2018, Oaks College. Oaks. I know there are some incredibly fucked up circumstances preceding this graduation, this commencement, this celebration. But I know all of you are being incredibly patient, incredibly resilient, and I know all of you are keeping each other strong as a community. Bayanihan is community. Love is community. Kindness is community. Fighting for what you believe in is community. Not looking the other way when disproportionately poor black and brown populations are affected by the global SARS-CoV-2 pandemic and understanding why they are so disproportionately affected, that is community. Fighting with, standing with, marching alongside with, standing in solidarity with the black community who are protesting centuries of police brutality, aggression, violence, oppression, what is essentially genocide, is community. The point that I'm trying to make here is that each and every single one of you right now is part of a community, whether it be Bayanihan, whether it be another ethnic org, whether it be your friends or your college or your family or just another group that I wouldn't even begin to mention because I'm old and I can't remember anything at all. You are a part of a community and you are a reason why it is standing where it is today, why it is strong, why it is resilient, why it is sustaining. And the point I also want to make is that once you leave this university, once you get your cap and gown or whatever equivalent that you're wearing at home in your bedroom on your computer, once you get your degree, your diploma, your certification, once you get whatever swanky new job, a few months after graduation, that's not it. It does not end there. You are still a part of a community, but it is your choice how you partake in it. It would be very unfair for me to say that the world is in a state of crisis right now. The world may seem like it's on fire right now, but somebody just moved the screen aside. It always has been. When people are outside protesting for their right to live, to survive, it is very much a whiplash to drive two, three, four streets down and see people living, going along as if none of that is happening. I want that to be a motivator for all of you. A motivator for action, change, and anger as much as it is a celebration because you should be celebrating. What you're doing right now is accumulation of years of hard work. That's fucking hard. I know it comes with different levels of difficulty for every different individual and you know what? Good for you. I'm so proud of you.
But like I said, it does not end there. Once you step your foot out into the streets, you have a choice. You can look the other way, or you can look head on and stand alongside the black community, the undocumented community, the queer community, people that have been oppressed systemically for centuries. Once you get your job, because I know all of you are going to do absolutely fantastic afterwards, no matter how long it takes, I want you to know that that is not the be all end all. In my opinion, I think we all have a moral obligation to make this world a better place. And that can mean many different things, but I do urge all of you to figure out what that means to you and evaluate your place in your community. It's hard work. It's not easy, but it's worth it and it's necessary. By any hunt class of 2020, one more time, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I wish I could see all of your beautiful faces in person, but I know it's going to be good for you. Funny, Ray grew up. I actually didn't put anything alcoholic in here because I'm being appropriate for this, but hypothetically, if it was, I would give you one big cheers because this is something to be proud of and this is something to be celebrated. By any hunt, does not end. Good night.